Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Let's open. Let's open. Let's open. Dear Heavenly Father, Lord, we want to thank you for keeping us through the night. We want to thank you for this new week and all the blessings that you want to bestow upon us. Help us, Lord, to uh, hear your word speaking to us and help us to humble our hearts before you und hilf uns, dass wir unsere Herzen vor dir demütigen und to obey the things that you've set before us und dass wir diesen Dingen gehorsam sind, die du vor uns gesetzt hast that your promises would be sure to us dass deine Verheißungen sicher für uns sind Lord, as we open your word this morning und wenn wir heute Morgen dein Wort öffnen, Herr I pray that you would open our eyes uh, wide und da bitte ich, dass du unsere Augen weit öffnest. And that you would help us to see how much you're uh, just waiting to bless us. Und dass du uns hilfst zu sehen, wie sehr du nur darauf wartest, uns zu segnen. That we're so slow of heart to believe all that you've uh, revealed in your word. Weil wir sind so ein langsames Herzens, dass wir glauben, was also alles glauben, was in deinem Wort offenbart hast. But we thank you for your long suffering and your patience towards us. Aber wir danken dir für deine Langmut und Geduld mit uns. And I pray that you'll help us to uh, receive these things this morning. Und ich bete, dass du uns hilfst, diese Dinge heute Morgen zu erhalten. We ask this in the name of Jesus. Wir bitten das im Namen Jesu. Amen. Amen. Okay, so the last two days been looking at this theme of the uh, time of the end uh, in relation to this thing of war. Okay, and yesterday was making this point because two days ago we were trying to ascertain about the about the time of the end. Right. Und gestern hatte ich diesen Punkt gemacht, weil ähm, vor zwei Tagen da haben wir ähm, versucht, diese Zeit des Endes zu bestimmen. And we, we know that the time of the end is at both the end and the beginning, right? Wir wissen, dass die Zeit des Endes sowohl am Ende als auch am Anfang ist. Because Sister White says, we are living in the time of the end. Thrones and churches have been set up, right? Weil Ellen White sagt, dass wir in der Zeit des Endes leben und Kirche und ähm, Throne haben sich vereint. So we know the time of the end is at the beginning where the Sunday law is made. Also right? wir wissen, dass die Zeit des Endes am Anfang ist, wenn das Sonntagsgesetz gemacht wird. But we also know, based upon 1798, that the time of the end is at the end, right? Und wir wissen auch, basierend auf 1798, dass die Zeit des Endes auch am Ende ist. Okay, and this has been the key, and, and, and I realize how slow I've been to comprehend this point, right? Okay, because two days ago when we were looking at this, I was uh, trying, because the point is, when you come to the, the beginning, the, it says the, the king of the south sh shall uh, push at him, right? Und wenn man zum Anfang kommt, da kann man sehen, das sagt ja, dass der König des Südens ähm, ihn, mit ihm zusammenstoßen wird. Right. And then it says the, the king of the north shall re retaliate against him, right? Und sagt es, der König des Nordens wird gegen ihn zurückschlagen. Okay. So we know that the, the king of the south pushing in history was the deadly wound, right? Wir wissen, dass äh, als der König des Südens gestoßen hat in der Geschichte, das war die tödliche Wunde. Okay, so you can't have the deadly wound at the same place as the, the Sunday laws, right? Also deswegen kann man die tödliche Wunde nicht zu selben, am selben Ort haben, wo das Sonntagsgesetz ist. And basically this has been the key all along, but was so dim to comprehend this, right? Das war eigentlich der Schlüssel die ganze Zeit und wir sind so, ähm, ja, langsam darin, das zu verstehen. But because of these Because of 1989, 1798, these, these two reform lines paralleling each other. 
1989 ähm, sich dann also parallel zueinander sind. Right. We, we try to, or at least I try to find how can the King of the South be, be pushing here at the beginning, right? Dann habe ich versucht herauszufinden, wie kann der König des Südens hier am Anfang ähm, ja, gegen ihn stoßen. And we were looking at this theme of 1848, right? Wir haben uns auch das Thema von 1848 angeschaut. But yesterday, when we were looking at we were realizing or reminding ourselves that Satan counterfeits everything, right? Und gestern, wo wir uns das angeschaut haben, haben wir dann realisiert, dass Satan alles fälscht. Okay. And it's the Lord that sets the south against the north and brings the deadly wound. Und es ist der Herr, der den Süden gegen den Norden ähm, setzt und der diese äh, tödliche Wunde auf ihn bringt. Okay, just, just go to Revelation 17. Gehen wir zur Offenbarung 17. Vers 16. 17 und Vers 16. It says, in the ten horns which thou sawest upon the beast, these shall hate the whore. Right? This is the, the kings of the earth, right? Das sind die Könige der Erde. It says, these shall hate the whore, shall make her desolate and naked, and shall eat her flesh and burn her with fire. For God hath put in their hearts to fulfill his will, to agree to give their kingdom unto the beast, until the words of God shall be fulfilled. So when the words of God are fulfilled, He takes away that what he put in our hearts and they turn upon her, right? Also wenn die Worte Gottes erfüllt sind, dann nimmt er das weg, was er in ihr Herz sozusagen gelegt hat und dann wenden sie sich gegen sie. Right? Yes. Are we all with us this morning, right? Yes. Okay. Yes. So the an? south is turned against the north. Right? Also der Süden, der wendet sich gegen den Norden. And when we talk about the South and North here, we're talking about um, these er earthly kings, right? Wenn wir über Süden und Norden sprechen, dann sprechen wir über diese irdischen Könige. They're both Satans, he's working one against the other. Right? Das sind beide Satans und der wirkt einen gegen den anderen. Okay, and the, the point that I want to see this morning is that the time of the end where the king of the South comes against the king of the north is at the end. Und den Punkt, den ich heute morgen anschauen möchte, ist ähm, dass die Zeit des Endes, wo der König des Südens gegen den Norden kommt, am Ende ist. And the king of the north Italians at the beginning, right? Und wenn der König des Nordens zurückschlägt, ist es am Anfang. And that's how we were always meant to see it. Und so right? sollten wir das immer sehen. Right? And when you when you grasp this, right? I think this is the key to unlock Daniel 11. Und wenn man das begreift, dann denke ich das ist der Schlüssel, um Daniel 11 zu entschlüsseln. Okay, you, you'll see in a moment. Right? Ihr werdet das gleich sehen. So, go to this heading, the, the time appointed. Gehen wir zur Überschrift, die bestimmte Zeit. Daniel 11 is the revelation, right? Und Daniel 11 ist die Offenbarung. Right? And the Lord is about to give us the revelation. Und der right? Herr steht davor, kurz davor, uns die Offenbarung zu geben. And in order for us to be born again, we have to understand the books of Daniel and Revelation, right? Damit wir von neuem geboren werden können, müssen wir die Bücher von Daniel und Offenbarung verstehen. Because it says, when the book of Revelation is better understood, that we've seen amongst God's people a great revival. Weil es sagt, wenn das Buch Offenbarung besser verstanden wird, dann wird es unter Gottes Volk eine große Erweckung geben. Right, and the Revelation is the revelation of the book of Daniel. Und die Offenbarung ist die Offenbarung vom Buch Daniel. Speaking about Daniel chapter 11. Und da right? spricht über Daniel Kapitel 11. So, the reason why things are locked up to us is because we have preconceived ideas. Right? Und der Grund, warum die Dinge für uns verschlossen sind, ist, weil wir eben vorgefasste Meinungen haben. Okay, remove the preconceived ideas and the Bible unfolds us, right? Wenn wir die vorgefassten Meinungen beiseite legen, dann entfaltet sich die Bibel für uns. Okay, so, anyway, let's begin. In Genesis 15. Fangen wir an in 1. Mose 15. So we're just doing some revision here and we'll bring these thoughts Uh, together, also right? wir machen ein bisschen 
Wiederholung und bringen diese äh, Gedanken zusammen. So Genesis 15, verses 13 and 14. 1. Mose 15, Verse 13 bis 14. Okay, and he said unto Abram, Know of a surety that thy seed shall be a stranger in a land that is not theirs, and shall serve them, and they shall afflict them four hundred years, and also that nation whom they shall serve will I judge, and afterward they shall come out with great substance, right? The gospel is right here in these verses. Das right. Evangelium ist genau hier in diesen Versen. Which, so this time where you're serving, which time is it? Zeit, an der du dienst. Welche Zeit ist das? Bondage. Yes, both, both things are right. Look at the heading. Schau euch die Überschrift an. What, what's the subject? Was ist das Thema? <coughs> right, it's a, yeah, it's a time of trouble, a time of war, mm -hmm. right? Es ist eine Zeit der Trübsal, eine Zeit des Krieges. Why? Warum? What's the, the look at the heading? No, 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 just look at the heading. Why is it a time of trouble, a time of wars? Yes, because the king of the north is ruling, right? Satan, right, is ruling, right? And Sister White has this quote, we've read it a few times. When the, the Sunday law begins, it says, Satan has set himself up as the ruler of the world, right? Das Sonntagsgesetz beginnt, da hat er ein weiteres Zitat, wo sie sagt, dass Satan sich als Herrscher der ganzen Welt aufgerichtet hat. Okay, when he's the ruler of the world, it's a time of war, right? Wenn er der Herrscher der Welt ist, dann ist es eine Zeit des Krieges. Who, who is he counterfeiting? Und wen fälscht er? Who is Satan counterfeiting? Wen fälscht Satan? The, yeah, the true king of the north, right? Den wahren König des Nordens. And the true king of the north is the king of... Der wahre König Peace, des Friedens right? ist ähm, der König des Friedens. So, it says, my, my peace I give unto you, right? Er sagt, meinen Frieden gebe ich euch. It says that this peace is, it passeth all understanding, er right? Er sagt, das ist ein Friede, der an Verstand übersteigt. And hence, at the end, the dove of peace comes down, Deswegen right? Deswegen kommt am Ende diese Taube des Friedens hin. And hence, we have this time of war, Time of peace, right? Because at the end, the ruler of the world is Christ, right? And that's typified by his ambassadors, right? So when he sends forth his ambassadors, they are ambassadors of peace, right? Okay. So you must see this, right? When, whenever, whenever Satan is ruling, there's war. Whenever Christ is ruling, there's peace, right? Ihr müsst sehen, wenn immer Satan herrscht, dann gibt es Krieg, und wenn Christus herrscht, dann gibt es Frieden. In Daniel 11:40 is marking these two times. Und Daniel 11 Vers 40 markiert diese zwei Zeiten. So clear, right? So. Das ist sehr klar. In the time of war. You have to serve this evil king, right? In der Zeit des Krieges musst du dem bösen König dienen. Meaning that we know that, for instance, when God's people were taken into Babylon, they were to subject themselves to the king, right? Das bedeutet, weil wir wissen ja zum Beispiel, als Gottes Volk nach Babylon gebracht wurden, dass sie sich dem König unterwerfen sollten. Doesn't mean that you are to break God's law, right? Das bedeutet nicht, dass du Gottes Gesetz brechen solltest. Okay, but it means that you you have been brought into bondage, right? Sondern es bedeutet, dass du eben in die Knechtschaft gebracht wurdest. But it also has a meaning for those people that are unconverted, Aber right? Aber es hat auch eine Bedeutung für die Leute, die also unbekehrt sind. Right? Because there's two two groups of God's people in here, right? Hier gibt es zwei Gruppen von Gottes Volk. There's those that are brought into bondage because of the sins of their brethren, right? Okay, and those that are in bondage because of their unconverted hearts, right? Right? Yes. Okay, but they're both in bondage, whether physical or spiritual, right? 
and the only when that that bondage ends when he judges that king. Diese Knechtschaft endet, wenn er diesen König richtet. Right? And then you come out with great substance. Dann kommst du mit großer Habe hinaus. And we want to understand that takes place at the time appointed. Wir wollen verstehen, right? dass das an der Zeit an der bestimmten Zeit stattfindet. Right? Because the, this in Genesis is talking about when they come out of Egypt, right? Das hier in 1. Mose spricht darüber, wenn sie aus Ägypten herauskommen. Okay, so go to Exodus 23. Gehen wir zu 2. Mose 23. Verse 15. Vers 15. It says, Thou shalt keep the feast of unleavened bread. Thou shalt eat unleavened bread seven days as I commanded thee, in the time appointed of the month Abib, for in it thou camest out of Egypt. So when did they come out of Egypt? Wann kamen sie aus Ägypten? The time appointed. Right? And it's so important that we link these things together, right? So wichtig, dass wir diese Dinge zusammen verknüpfen. So Egypt and Babylon are the same entity, right? Ägypten und Babylon ist dieselbe Macht. Yes? Yeah. Okay, so when you go to Jeremiah 25. Gehen wir zu Jeremia 25. Verse 11. Vers 11. And this whole land shall be a desolation and an astonishment, and these nations shall serve the king of Babylon seventy years. What shall they do? Serve him, right? And it shall come to pass when seventy years are accomplished that I will punish the king of Babylon. You see the same thing, right? Yes? In, in, the, in Genesis it's speaking about Pharaoh. Right? Mose spricht es über Pharao. Who is the king of the south? Der right? ist der König des Südens. He's the king of the earth, the king of Egypt. Er ist right? der König der Erde, der König Ägypten. Satan, right? Satan. But Satan counterfeits the king of the north, Aber right? Satan fälscht den König des Nordens. And that's what you see here in Jeremiah with the king of Babylon, Und right? Das kannst du hier in Jeremia sehen mit dem König von Babylon. Right? It's bo both the same king, right? <laughs> König, Just that that king has put on himself a religious robe. Nur right? dass, ähm, König jetzt ein hat. Okay, and then go to Jeremiah 8 and verse 7. Gehen wir zu 8 und Vers 7. We, we know that we're just talking about here that he's going to punish the king of Babylon, which is a judgment, right? Wir haben gerade hier gelesen, dass, wir, dass er den König des, äh, von Babylon bestrafen wird, das ist ein Gericht. So Jeremiah talks about that time, right? Spricht über diese Zeit. It says, yeah, the stork in the heaven knoweth her what? Appointed times, right? Bestimmten Zeiten. Okay, it's a rebuke because the stork is an unclean animal, right? Das ist ein Tadel, weil ein Storch, Storch ist ein unreines Tier. Means the Gentiles are more aware of these things or they're more susceptible to understand these things in God's own people, right? Bedeutet, dass die Heiden sind empfänglicher dafür, diese Dinge zu verstehen als Gottes eigenes Volk. Yeah, the stork in the heaven knoweth are appointed times, and the turtle and the crane and the swallow observe the time of their coming. But my people know not the judgment of the Lord, right? The judgment is the appointed time, right? Das Gericht ist die bestimmte Zeit. Right? Okay. So, Go to Daniel chapter 11. Gehen wir zu Daniel 11. Verse 27. Vers 27. It says, And both these kings, what, who are these kings that it's referring to? Wer sind diese Könige, auf die es sich bezieht? Right, yeah, the counterfeit king of the north, right? Die Fälschung des Königs des Nordens. These, this Satan controlling two entities on the earth, right? Das ist Satan, der jetzt zwei Mächte auf dieser Erde kontrolliert. And he pits them against each other, right? Und der setzt sie gegeneinander, oder wiegelt sie gegeneinander auf. Because he is this king of war, and he delights in war, Sister White says, right? Weil er ist der König des Krieges, und Ellen White sagt, dass er sich am Krieg erfreut. It stirs up the worst passions, right? Und das ähm, ja, wiegelt diese schlimmsten Leidenschaften auf. And through this war, he's going to deceive many people, right? Und durch diesen Krieg wird er viele Leute verführen. It says, and both these kings have shall be to do mischief, and they shall speak lies at one table. So, <laughs> whose father is, is, do they belong to? 
Also zu welchem Vater gehören sie? Yes, they're both Satan's, right? Zum Vater der Lügen, also beide gehören Satan. Okay, because he's the father of lies, right? Weil er ist der Vater der Lügen. But it shall not prosper, for yet the end shall be at the time appointed. So both these kings are going to come to an end at the time appointed, right? Also beide von diesen Königen kommen zu ihrem Ende an der bestimmten Zeit. Right? Richtig. So both the false king of the north and the king of the south will come to an end at the time appointed. Also sowohl der falsche König des Nordens als auch der ähm, König des Südens kommen <coughs> beide zu ihrem Ende an der bestimmten Zeit. Okay, now we go to Daniel 11. <coughs> Gehen wir jetzt uh, verse 20, sorry, verse 29. Gehen wir jetzt zu Daniel 11, Vers 29. Because it says, just two verses later, at the time appointed, he shall return and come toward the south. So this is the north coming toward the south, right? Das ist jetzt der Norden, der gegen oder zu, zum Süden kommt. But it shall not be as the former or as the latter, for the ships of Kittim shall come against him. So question, who are the ships of Kittim? Also die Frage ist, wer sind diese Kittia Schiffe? It's the trumpets, right? It's the first four trumpets. And they were raised up to punish. Yeah, the false king of the north, right? Okay, and it's the south, right? So it's basically, you've got to understand this spiritually, the ships of Kittim is the south punishing this northern king, right? Das muss man geistlich verstehen, also die Schiff, die Kitea Schiffe ist der Süden, der diesen falschen nördlichen König bestrafen. Right? Richtig. Now, all this is pointing down to our time right now, right? Und all das weist ja auf unsere Zeit gerade jetzt hin. Because Gog <coughs> is Pharaoh, right? Und weil Gog Pharaoh ist. And Pharaoh is about to be punished at the appointed time, right? Steht kurz davor, bestraft zu werden an der bestimmten Zeit. And the Lord is going to bring the south against him, right? Der Herr wird den Süden gegen ihn bringen. So just go, turn in the Bible, go to Ezekiel 38. Geht in euren Bibeln zu Ezekiel 38. Verse 21. Ezekiel 38, Vers 21. It says, and I will call for a sword against him, against Gog, right? Gog. Throughout all my mountains, saith the Lord God, every man's sword shall be against his brother. So it's an internal thing, right? So that is intern. An internal means inside Satan's kingdom, right? Und intern bedeutet innerhalb von Satan's Königreich. R right? Richtig. Okay, we will we'll, we'll, I don't know whether I put that in there. Um, maybe you can just, if I just go there now, go to Isaiah chapter 19. Verse 1. It says, Behold, The Lord rideth upon a swift cloud. So this is the true king of the north, right? Yes? Yes. Okay. So, so we, we read in, in, in Revelation 17, the Lord puts it in their hearts to give their kingdom, right, until the time appointed. Und wir haben in Offenbarung 17 gelesen, dass der Herr es in ihr Herz legt, dass sie ihr Königreich hingeben bis zu der bestimmten Zeit. And then they're going to rise up and eat their flesh and burn up with fire. Dann right? werden sie aufstehen und ihr Fleisch essen und sie mit Feuer verbrennen. Who ate Jezebel's flesh? Wer hat Isabels Fleisch gegessen? Dogs. The dogs. Die Hunde. Which is the Gentiles, right? Die Heiden. Okay. Satan's kingdom, right? Das ist Satans Königreich. So it says, the burden of Egypt, behold, the Lord rideth upon a swift cloud and shall come into Egypt, right? Satan's kingdom. Satans Königreich. And the idols of Egypt shall be moved at his presence, and the heart of Egypt shall melt in the midst of it, and I will set the Egyptians against the Egyptians. Right? King of the north, or king of the south against the king of the north. 
König des Südens gegen den König des Nordens. Right? These are these two kings. Das sind diese zwei Könige. That we spoke about, right? Die wir gesprochen haben. Because at the time appointed, the ships of Kittim, the south, will come and punish the north. Weil right? in der bestimmten Zeit werden die Kittea Schiffe, was der Süden ist, kommen und den Norden bestrafen. Right? Everybody follow? Kann jeder folgen? Okay. Right? So, um, go now to, um, yeah, go, go to Daniel 11, 31. Gehen wir zu Daniel 11, Vers 31. So, what I want you to see is that Daniel 11, Vers 29 and 30, we just read, right? Und ich, wir haben ja gerade... Daniel 11, Vers 29 und 30 gelesen. So, it talks about verse 29 and 30. It's the judgment, right? Und in Vers 29 und 30, da spricht es über das Gericht. Therefore, what is it? Deswegen, was ist das? Yes, it's the, well, it says that there, the time appointed. That's not what I'm asking. What is it? Es sagt hier, dass es die bestimmte Zeit ist. Think about Daniel 11, 40. Aber was ist das in Bezug auf Daniel 11, Vers 40? Okay, it's the it's the end. It's the is the answer, right? Also die Antwort ist, es ist das the time of the end is at both the beginning and the end. So that's not helpful. We're saying it's the time of the end, right? Also die Zeit des Endes ist ja sowohl am Anfang als auch am Ende. Das ähm, hilft nicht, wenn man sagt, es ist die Zeit des Endes. We've just read that the judgment marks the end, right? Wir haben gerade gelesen, dass das Gericht das Ende markiert. And the judgment is when the king of the south inflicts a deadly wound upon the king of the north, right? Und das Gericht markiert, wenn der König des Südens eine tödliche Wunde ähm, dem König des Nordens zufügt. So what do we see in verses 29 and 30? Was können wir also in Versen 29 und 30 sehen? Deadly wound. Yeah, we see the deadly wound, right? Die tödliche Wunde. Yeah, and then verse 31, the deadly wound is healed. Exactly, right? Vers 31 kann man dann sehen, wie die tödliche Wunde geheilt wird. But without understanding Daniel 11, 40 and the time of the end, you wouldn't get this point, Aber right? Aber ohne, dass man Daniel 11, Vers 40 versteht, um, uh, without understanding Daniel 11, 40? Yes. And the, and the... Ah, okay. Also ohne, dass man Daniel 11, Vers 40 und die Zeit des Endes versteht, würde man diesen Punkt nicht verstehen können. Right? So you see that there is, although you can't read it there, between 30 and 31, there is a break. Right? Deswegen ohne, dass man das jetzt ähm, so lesen kann, zwischen ähm, Vers 30 und 31 gibt es sozusagen eine Pause. Um, within verse 30 itself, um, would you see also already the break or is it? Because it says, for the ships of Kittim shall come against him, that's the deadly wound, right? Yes. Therefore shall he be grieved and return and have been Yeah, that's how he's going to return, right? So, the, it, but he returns here in verse 31, right? Yes. Yes. But I'm just saying, I've highlighted the bit there, the ships of Kittim will come against him. That's, you see the deadly wound, right? Also in Vers 30, when the Kittim-Schiffe gegen ihn kommen, sieht man die Todeswunde und dann steht eben, dass er zurückgeschlagen wird und das kann man dann vor allem in Vers 31 Okay, and then there's a period of time before he comes back, right? Und da gibt es eben eine Zeitspanne, bevor er zurückkommt. Right? Richtig. Because when you go to verse 31, Weil wenn man zu Vers 31 geht, it says, an arm shall stand on his part, they shall pollute the sanctuary their strength, they shall take away the daily, they shall place the abomination and make it desolate. When was that? Wann war das? When did they place the abomination and make it desolate? Wann haben sie den Gräuel aufgestellt, der verwüstet? 538, right? 538. It's marking the Sunday law, right? Das markiert das Sonntagsgesetz. So, ships are kitten, inflict a deadly wound, and now he comes back again, right? Die Kitea-Schiffe haben diese tödliche Wunde ähm, gemacht und jetzt kommt er wieder zurück. Okay, we just read on now, right? Gehen wir jetzt weiter. It says, and such as do wickedly against the covenant shall he corrupt by flatteries, but the people that do know their God shall be strong and do exploits. And they that understand among the people shall instruct many, yet they shall fall by the sword and by flame, by captivity, and spoil many days. This is this time of war, time of trouble. Right? Das ist diese Zeit des Krieges, Zeit der Trübsal. 
Now when they shall fall, they shall be holpen with a little help, but many shall cleave to them with flatteries. And some of them of understanding shall fall to try them to perch and to make them white, even to the what? Time of the end. Because it is yet for a time appointed. So where does it bring you to again? To the end. Because this is where he's going to get punished, right? Because just go to Daniel 11.40. It says, and at the time of the end, which is the time appointed, right? The, the king of this, shall the king of the south push at him, right? Right? Egyptian against Egyptian, right? Ägypter gegen Ägypter. South against the north. Süden gegen Norden. These two kings, right? Diese zwei Könige. But specifically the south will eat the northern one's flesh and burn her with fire, Aber right? Der Süden wird spezifisch eben ähm, den Norden, also das Fleisch des Nordens essen und sie mit Feuer verbrennen. Does the south always burn things up? Und verbrennt der Süden immer Dinge? Yes. Yes, right? That's what we read in, in Daniel and Revelation 8. Right? Das können wir in Offenbarung 8 lesen. Okay, so you can say, at the time appointed shall the king of the south push at him. Right? Right? Richtig. Okay. And then it says, and the king of the north shall retaliate. Right. Es, der König des Nordens wird zurückschlagen. The King of the North shall return. Der König des Nordens wird ähm, zurückkehren. Right. So the, the, the key to Daniel 11:40 is King of the South comes against the King of the North, also bringing about a time of peace. Also der right. Das für Daniel 11:40 ist, dass eben der König des Südens gegen den König des Nordens kommt und das ist eine Zeit des Friedens. But when the King of the North It says here, right, it says, The king of the north shall come against him like a whirlwind with chariots, with horsemen, with many ships. Deadly wound is healed. Right? Okay, just go to Revelation 13, verse 3. This is Daniel 11, verse 40. Right? I saw one of his heads as it were wounded to death. Right? They ate her flesh and burned her with fire. Right? Who did that in history? France, right? Okay. Yes, France is the south, right? Okay. Tell us, teaches us this in the French Revolution. Right? They are this communist spirit, right? Okay, and it says, I saw one of his heads that were wounded to death, and his deadly wound was healed, right? King of the North returns, right? So, so nice when we see this, right? Das ist so, schön, wenn wir das sehen. so when we understand that now, whenever, when you're looking at Daniel 11, right? Wenn wir das dann verstehen und uns Daniel 11 anschauen, whenever the king of the north is being punished, you know there's a time of peace beginning, right? Wenn der König des Nordens dann bestraft wird, weiß man, dass dort eine Zeit des Friedens anfängt. And you know that when the king of the north comes back again, it's a time of war beginning, right? So when we read through Daniel 11 now, what can we see? Okay. With well, the point I'm trying to make, you can make, you can see all the bits that go together and the natural breaks between everything, right? The, the natural pieces that go together. Right. Every time that. That northern power rises up again, it's marking the beginning of a time of war, right? 
dann markiert es den Anfang einer Zeit des Krieges. So whenever you see that you can cut those pieces, you can bring them all together and put them on top of each other, right? Wenn immer du das siehst, kannst du diese Stücke nehmen und sie also also schneiden und dann übereinander legen. And the point where the point I'm making is you now have a key to directly div rightly divide the book of Daniel of chapter 11, right? Den Punkt, den ich mache, du hast jetzt einen Schlüssel, um das Kapitel von Daniel 11 richtig zu zerteilen. Right? Richtig. Okay, Now, I'm not saying that was all of a sudden going to understand Daniel 11, but without this key, you would never be able to decipher that, right? Und ich sage jetzt nicht, dass wir plötzlich das ganze Kapitel Daniel 11 verstehen werden, aber ähm, ohne diesen Schlüssel könnte man das eben nie sehen. Okay, so and go, when you go to Revelation 13, 11, Gehen wir zur Offenbarung 13 und Vers 11. Shows you the same principle again, right? Zeigt es dir wieder dasselbe Prinzip. It says, I beheld another beast coming up out of the earth. Time of peace, right? Zeit des Friedens. Right, and he comes up because the because the 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 um, southern power got a deadly wound. Oh, sorry, the northern power got a deadly wound, right? Er kommt herauf, weil die nördliche Macht eine Todeswunde erhalten hat. Right? But this is I'm already preparing to return, right? Aber er vorbereitet sich schon wieder ähm, zu kommen. It says, and he had two horns like a lamb, okay, because church and state have now separated, right? Er hat zwei Hörner wie ein Lamm, weil Kirche und Stadt haben sich jetzt geteilt. And he speak as a dragon, he's now come back again, right? Und wenn er wie ein Drache spricht, da ist er wieder zurückgekommen. Who's the dragon? Wer ist der Drache? Pharaoh, so. right? Pharaoh. Okay, Satan's kingdom. Satan's right? Königreich. We all, we all follow it. Können wir alle folgen? Okay, and I think it's very profound, right? Ich glaube, das ist sehr tiefgründig. Okay, so go to Daniel chapter 8. Gehen wir zu Daniel 8. Vers 13. Vers 13. It says, then I heard one saint speaking, and another saint said unto that certain saint which speak, how long shall be the vision concerning the daily and the transgression of desolation to give both the sanctuary and the host to be trodden underfoot? And he said unto me, unto 2,300 days, then shall the sanctuary be cleansed. Right? So he's asking this question, How long, right? We know that the prophet is always standing at the beginning of the seventh plague when he's having the vision explained to him, right? Also, we wissen, dass immer der Prophet am Anfang der siebten Plage steht, wenn ihm diese Vision erklärt wird. Okay, and the answer is until the time of the end, right? Die Antwort ist bis zur Zeit des Endes. Or until the time appointed. Oder bis zur bestimmten Zeit. Right, because. It's in verse 14 it says, Bei Vers 14 sagt es, And he said unto me, Until 2300 days, then shall the sanctuary be cleansed. Right? So to, until the end of the 2300 is the answer. Right? Die Antwort ist bis zum Ende der 2300. Okay, so go to this um, first quote. Geht jetzt zu dem ersten Zitat. It says, But the appointed time had passed. What had passed? Was ist um, vergangen? The appointed time, right? And the Lord had not appeared. The believers knew that God's word could not fail. Their interpretation of the prophecy must be at fault. But where was the mistake? Many rashly cut the knot of difficulty by denying that the 2300 days ended in 1844. So what's what's the 2300 days? Where does it end? Wo enden die 2300 Tage? The what, sorry? 1844. The time of the end is the answer. Die Antwort ist an der Zeit des Endes. Okay. I know that there's a quote that says the time of the end was 1844. Ich weiß, es gibt auch ein Zitat, wo sie sagt, dass die Zeit des Endes 1844 ist. Right. It's at the end, right? Also es ist am Ende. Because it's the time appointed. Weil das ist die bestimmte Zeit. And just go to the next quote. Gehen wir zum nächsten Zitat. She quotes Habakkuk, right? Hier zitiert sie Habakkuk. It was not at first perceived that if the decree did not go forth at the beginning of the year 457 BC, the 2300 years would not be completed at the close of 1843. 
but it was ascertained that the decree was given near the close of the year 457 BC, and therefore the prophetic period must reach to the fall of the year 1844. Therefore the vision of time did not tarry, though it had seemed to do so. We learned to rest upon the language of the prophet. What were they resting on? Also, the prophetic word, right? Okay, they didn't trust themselves, they trusted in the prophetic word. Right? The vision is yet for an appointed time, but at the end it shall speak and not lie. So what will it do at the end? It shall speak, right? Okay. So, and just on that thought, just go to Ezekiel 29. Because in Ezekiel, the king of Babylon is representing Christ, right? Right. So he's this one that comes on the clouds and sets them against each other, right? He's, he's the one that inflicts the deadly wound, right? So just remind you, go, go to chapter 30, verse uh, 24. We'll go back to 29 in a minute. It says, And I will strengthen the arms of the king of Babylon and put my sword in his hand, and I will break Pharaoh's arms, and he shall groan before him with the groanings of a deadly wounded man. Right? So the king of Babylon, the true king of the north, comes and inflicts the deadly wound, right? Von Babylon, der wahre König des äh, Nordens, kommt und fügt diese tödliche Wunde hinzu. Okay, so go back to Ezekiel 29 and Vers uh, 18. Gehen wir zurück zu Ezekiel 29 und Vers 18. It says, Son of man, Nebuchadnezzar, king of Babylon, caused his army to serve a great service against Tyre. Tyre is the papacy, right? Das ist das Papst. Every head was made bald and every shoulder was peeled. Yet he had no wages, nor his army, for Tyrus, for the service that he had served against it. Therefore thus saith the Lord God, Behold, I will give the land of Egypt unto Nebuchadnezzar, king of Babylon. That's a fulfillment of the promise to Abraham, right? He's giving him this land. Right? And he shall take her multitude and take her spoil. And now he's taken the... Spoil, right? Jetzt nimmt er die Beute. Did God's people take the spoil from the Egyptians when they came out of Egypt? Und haben, hat Gottes Volk die Beute von den Ägyptern genommen, als sie aus Ägypten herauskamen? Yes, they came out with great substance, sie right? Sie kamen raus mit großer Habe. They take her spoil, take her prey, and it shall be the wages for his army. I have given him the land of Egypt for his labor, wherewith he served against it, because they wrought for me, saith the Lord God. In that day will I cause the horn of the house of Israel to bud forth, and I will give thee the opening of the mouth. What's he doing? Was macht er? He's going to speak, right? Wird sprechen. How does he speak? Wie spricht er? Go to Ezekiel chapter 12. Geht zu Ezekiel 12. And go to verse 22. It says, Son of man, what is that proverb that ye have in the land of Israel, saying, The days are prolonged and every vision faileth? That's the proverb that's in this movement at this moment, right? That is dieser Spruch, der auch in dieser Bewegung im Moment ist. Right. Oh yeah, but you said this and you said that it's never going to come to pass. Yeah, but you have das gesagt und dies gesagt und das wird nie stattfinden. Tell them therefore, thus saith the Lord God, I will make this proverb to cease. And they shall no more use it as a proverb in Israel, but say unto them, The days are at hand, the effect of every vision. For there shall be no more any vain vision nor flattering divination within the house of Israel. For I am the Lord, I will speak, and the word that I shall speak shall come to pass. So when is he going to speak? Wann wird er sprechen? 
according to Habakkuk, Gemäß Habakkuk at the time appointed. An der bestimmten Zeit. The vision will not tarry, right? Die Vision wird sich nicht verzögern. It shall be no more prolonged. It will not tarry, right? Wird nicht mehr verlängert werden. Sie wird nicht mehr verzögern. For in your days, O rebellious house, will I say the word and will perform it, saith the Lord God. Right? He's going to bring it to pass at the time appointed. Er wird es stattfinden lassen an der bestimmten Zeit. Right? He's going to punish Pharaoh, which is Gog. Er wird Pharao bestrafen, der Gog ist. Right? So when Gog gets punished, it's the time appointed. Wenn right? Gog bestraft wird, das ist die bestimmte Zeit. It's the time of the end. Es ist die Zeit des Endes. Right? Right, so just go back, go back to Ezekiel 38 now, and we'll read that verse again. Geht nochmal zurück zu Ezekiel 38, und wir lesen nochmal diesen Vers. And this is, remember, he takes the sword out of Pharaoh's hand, and he puts it into the hand of the king of Babylon, right? Und erinnert euch, er nimmt das Schwert aus der Hand von Pharaoh, und er legt es in, das, uh, in die Hand von dem König von Babylon. The king of Babylon is the true king of the north, right? Der König von Babylon ist der wahre König. It says, and I will call for a sword against him. In Vers 21. Throughout all my mountains, saith the Lord God, every man's sword shall be against his brother, right? So, Christ is now come and he sets them against each other, these two. Two kings. Right? This this punishment upon Pharaoh, right? This is this bestrafung of Pharaoh. And you just go to Ezekiel uh, 27. And Ezekiel 27 is marking or paralleling Revelation 18. Ezekiel 27 is parallel with Offenbarung 18. Right? Richtig. Yes, Brother Mark, or no, I have got no clue what you're talking about. Ja, right? Brother Mark, or I don't know about what you're talking about. Right, because in here, right, it marks these two powers that punish, right? Also, here drin markiert es diese zwei Mächte, die bestrafen. Okay, because in verse 25, Vers 25 says, sagt, The ships of Tarshish did sing thee in thy market, and thou wast replenished, and they made. Very glorious in the midst of the seas. Thy roars have brought thee into great waters. The east wind hath broken thee in the midst of the seas. Right? And the east wind is breaking both the both those kings, the north and the south. Right? The east wind erbricht beide diese Könige, sowohl Norden als auch Süden. Right? And this is who Christ brings with him. Right? He brings all the fowls of heaven. Right? Das bringt Christus mit sich. Er bringt alle Vögel des Himmels mit sich. Right? And then you read verses 27 down. It's Revelation 18. Right? Wenn Vers 27 und weiter liest, dann ist das auf dem Baum 18. Right? We've read it many times. It's exactly the same scenario as you read in Revelation 18. Das haben wir sehr oft gelesen. Es ist genau dasselbe Szenario, was wir auch in auf dem Baum 18 lesen können. Okay. And it goes down to verse 34. Geht jetzt zu Vers 34. It says, "In the time when thou shalt be broken by the seas." Who are the seas? Wer sind die Meere? Go to Re Revelation 17. Geht zu Offenbarung 17. Vers 15. He says, and he saith unto me, the waters which thou sawest, where the whore sitteth. And who's the whore in Ezekiel seven, uh, in the book of Ezekiel? Tyre, right? She's sitting in the midst of the seas, right? And the waters which thou sawest, where the whore sitteth, are peoples and multitudes and nations and tongues, right? And if we just go to Isaiah uh, 27. We're so quick to forget these things. So schnell diese Dinge zu vergessen. Um, no, not Isaiah 17, not 27. Ich meinte Jesaja 17. Verse 12. 
It says, Woe to the multitude of many people, which make a noise like the noise of the seas. What's the seas? Was sind die Meere? Many people, right? Viele Leute. To the rushing of nations, that make a rushing like the rushing of the mighty waters. And this is who Tyre is sitting on, right? Darauf sitzt Tyrus. And it says in Ezekiel that the seas are going to break her, right? Und Ezekiel sagt es, dass die Meere sie brechen werden. And those waters that she sits on in Revelation 17 eat her flesh and burn her with fire, right? Diese Wasser, auf denen sie sitzt in Offenbarung 17, die essen ihr Fleisch und verbrennen sie mit Feuer. Okay, we just go to verse 13, it says. Gehen wir noch zu Vers 13. The nations shall rush like the rushing of many waters, but God shall rebuke them. And they shall flee far off, and shall be chased as the chaff of the mountains before the wind, and like the rolling thing before the whirlwind. Who's this? Wer ist das? The true king of the north. Der wahre right? König des Nordens. Because he comes as a whirlwind and rebukes them, right? Er kommt wie ein Wirbelsturm und er tadelt sie. Amen. Amen. Okay. So go to back to notes. Go to Daniel chapter 8. Geht zurück zu den Notizen Daniel 8. So he's just asked and how long shall be the vision concerning the daily and the transgression of desolation. He says unto 2300 days, right? Er hat gerade gefragt, ähm, wie lange äh, soll die Vision sein von dem täglichen und der Übertretung der Verwüstung. Und dann sagte bis 2300 Tage. If you go to verse 16, und gehen wir zu Vers 16. It says, And I heard a man's voice between the banks of the Julia, which called and said, Gabriel, make this man to understand the vision. So he came near where I stood, and when he came, I was afraid and fell upon my face. But he said unto me, Understand, O son of man, for at the time of the end shall be the vision. When's the vision going to finish? When wird die Vision aufhören? The time of the end. Zeit des Endes. Right? Now, as he was speaking with me, I was in a deep sleep on my face toward the ground, and he touched me and set me upright, and he said, Behold, I will make thee know what shall be in the last end of the indignation for at the time appointed, the end shall be. So the time appointed is the end, right? Die Zeit ist das Ende. And the end is the time of the end. Und das Ende ist die Zeit des Endes. Right? When the king of the south will push against the king of the north. Wenn der König des Südens gegen den König des Nordens stoßen. Because this is where the king of the north is coming to his end, right here at the time appointed. Weil right? da kommt der König des Nordens zu seinem Ende. Das ist hier an der bestimmten Zeit. Right? Richtig. Okay, so when you go, just go to Matthew 24. Und gehen noch zu Matthäus 24. Because the whole theme of Matthew 24 is them asking, when's the end? Right? Das ganze Thema von Matthäus 24 ist, dass sie fragen, wann ist das Ende? Right. In Vers 1. Vers 1. It says, And Jesus went out and departed from the temple, and his disciples came to him for to show him the buildings of the temple. And Jesus said to them, See ye not all these things? Verily I say unto you, There shall not be left here one stone upon another that shall not be thrown down. What's it speaking about? Über was spricht es? What's it, just in the language there, what's it talking about? In dieser Sprache, über was spricht es? The destruction of the cities, right? Die Zerstörung der Städte. Mm -hmm. Oder Jerusalem. Mm -hmm. Right? Sister White takes this, right? And speaking about... Uh, typified at 9-11, right? White um, spricht darüber... Das ist eben vorausgeschattet am 11. September. She says in Life Sketches 411, when those great buildings in New York come down, Revelation 18, 1 to 3 will be fulfilled. Und sie sagt in ähm, LS 411, dass wenn diese großen Gebäude in New York herunterkommen, dann wird sich Offenbarung 18, 1 bis 3 erfüllen. Which is Ezekiel 27. Das ist Ezekiel 27. Right? So when Tyre is getting punished. It's the punishment on Babylon. Wenn right? Wird, ist es die auf Babylon. Right? And 
just um, so just two thoughts, but we'll finish with this thought. It says, And as he sat upon the Mount of Olives, the disciples came unto him privately, saying, Tell us, when shall these things be? What shall be the sign of thy coming? And the what? The end of the world. Right? So what do they want to know? When is the end? Right? And it's given in Daniel when the end is. It's a time appointed, right? Steht in Daniel, wann das Ende ist. Das ist die bestimmte Zeit. Okay, so go, go back to Revelation 17. Geh zurück zu Offenbarung 17. Because Revelation 17 is just talking about what happens in Revelation 18, right? Offenbarung 17 spricht darüber, was in Offenbarung 18 geschieht. Because Revelation 18 is the punishment on Babylon, right? Offenbarung 18 ist die Bestrafung auf Babylon. And verse 1 in Revelation 17 is talking about the punishment on Babylon. And there came one of the seven angels which had the seven vials and talked with me, saying unto me, Come hither, I will show unto thee the what? The judgment. Where did we start this morning? We, we, uh, yes, we started with that that nation whom you shall serve will I judge, right? And it's speaking about Egypt, right? Pharaoh's kingdom. And Babylon, right, is Pharaoh putting on this this religious gap, right? Babylon is auch Pharaoh, der dieses religiöse Gewand anzieht. So this judgment right here is the same judgment in Genesis 15, right? Dieses Gericht hier ist dasselbe Gericht wie in 1. Mose 15. So he says, Come hither, I will show unto thee the judgment of the great whore that sitteth upon many waters. And what else was Abraham promised? Was noch wurde dem Abraham verheißen? He was promised the land. What else was he promised? The birth, right? So I just go to Revelation 21. And hence it says the exact same thing in verse 9 here, right? And there came unto me one of the seven angels which had the seven vials full of the seven last plagues. Same thing, right? We just read, right? And talked with me, saying, Come hither, I will show unto, show unto thee the bride, the lamb's wife. Right? I will show thee the new birth. Right? right? These are those that come out of Egypt with great substance. Right? Okay, so go back to the notes. In Genesis 18 and verse 14. It says, Is it anything too hard for the Lord? At the time appointed, I will return unto thee according to the time of life, and Sarah shall have a son. Right? Type of Christ. Right? Yes? Yeah. Okay. It's at the time appointed. It's at a certain time. The judgment and the blessing, right? Das Gericht und der Segen. It's at the time of the end. Es ist an der Zeit des Endes. Okay. Galatians chapter 4 verse 1. Galater 4 Vers 1. Speaking again about them coming out of Egypt, right? Ja, darüber, dass sie aus Ägypten herauskommen. Now I say that the heir, as long as he is a child, differeth nothing from his servant, though he be a lord of all. So what is he in this time? Was ist er in dieser Zeit? A servant, right? Knecht. That nation whom thou shalt serve will I judge, right? Nation, der ihr dienen werdet oder ein Knecht sein werdet, werde ich richten. But as under tutors and governors until the time appointed, right? Bis zur bestimmten Zeit. So, brothers and sisters, if you don't put yourself under the tutors and governors, you won't be ready when the time appointed comes. Also, Geschwister, wenn ihr euch nicht unter die even so we, when we were children, were in bondage under the elements of the world. But when the fullness of the time was come, God sent forth the Son made of a woman made under the law. 
right? So we just remind ourselves go to this next quote. Erinnern wir uns noch mal, gehen wir zum nächsten Zitat. The fullness of the time is the time appointed. Die right? Fülle der Zeit ist die bestimmte Zeit. Right? Richtig. And we just read it here, right? Wir können das jetzt hier lesen. It says when the fullness of the time was come, God sent forth his son to redeem them that were under the law that we might receive the adoption of sons. The Savior's coming was foretold in Eden, right? It's speaking about Genesis 3.15. When he puts this hatred for sin in your heart, right? When Adam and Eve first heard the promise, they looked for its speedy fulfillment. They joyfully welcomed their firstborn son, hoping that he might be the deliverer. But the fulfillment of the promise tarried. What did it do? Though it tarry, wait for it, for it will surely come, right? Wenn es sich verzögert, warte darauf, denn es wird sicherlich kommen. Those who first received it died without the sight. From the days of Enoch, the promise was repeated through patriarchs and prophets, keeping alive the hope of his appearing. And yet he came not, because they're all types, right? Er kam nicht, weil das eben alles Typen. The prophecy of Daniel revealed the time of his advent, right? The time of his advent was when he came to be baptized, right? Die Zeit seiner Ankunft war, als er kam, um getauft zu werden. Right? When the children of Israel came out of Egypt, they were baptized. Als die Kinder Israels aus Ägypten herauskamen, wurden sie getauft. Right? It's paralleling these two points, right? Es setzt diese zwei Punkte parallel. Um, the prophecy of Daniel revealed the time of his advent, but not all rightly interpreted the message. Century after century passed away. The voices of the prophet ceased. The hand of the oppressor was heavy upon Israel, and many were ready to exclaim, The days are prolonged, and every vision faileth. Right? So they used that proverb in relation to the time appointed. Right? <laughs> diesen Spruch in Bezug auf die bestimmte Zeit. But Habakkuk says, though that vision tarry, wait for it, for it will surely come. Right? Habakkuk sagt, auch wenn diese Vision sich verzögert, warte darauf, denn sie wird sicherlich kommen. But like the stars in the vast circuit of their appointed path, God's purposes know no haste and no delay. Through the symbols of the great darkness and the smoking furnace, God had revealed to Abraham the bondage of Israel in Egypt. And I declared that the time of their sojourning should be 400 years. Afterward, he said, they shall come out with great substance. Against that word, all the power of Pharaoh's proud empire battled in vain. What was Pharaoh doing? Was hat Pharaoh getan? Warring against God's people. Er hat right? gegen Gottes Volk Krieg geführt. On the self-same day, appointed in the divine promise, it came to pass that all the hosts of the Lord went out from the land of Egypt. And we read it was at the time appointed. Wir right? haben gelesen, es war in der bestimmten Zeit. So in heaven's council, the hour for the coming of Christ had been determined. When the great clock of time pointed to that hour, Jesus was born. Right? It's this temple in Ezekiel 21, this temple in Ezekiel 40 to 43, right? Da wurde Jesus geboren, das ist dieser Tempel in Ezekiel 40 bis 43. Right? Hence, now let's go to Isaiah chapter 7. Deswegen gehen wir jetzt zu Jesaja 7. Right? Vers 1. Vers 1. And it came to pass in the days of Ahaz, the son of Jotham, the son of Uzziah, king of Judah, that Rezin, the king of Syria, and Pekah, the son of Remaliah, king of Israel, went up towards Jerusalem to war against it, but could not prevail against it. So you have the ten tribes and Syria, right? Hat die zehn Stämme und Syrien. In confederacy. In diesem Zusammenschluss. And they're coming up to do what? Und sie kommen, was zu tun? Fight against Jerusalem, right? Jerusalem so kämpfen. who is this? Wer ist das? Gog and Magog, right? right. And it says, and it was, it was told the house of David, saying, Syria is confederate with Ephraim, and his heart was moved, and the heart of his people as the trees of the wood are moved with the wind. Then said the Lord unto Isaiah, Go forth now to meet Ahaz, thou and Shear Jashub, 
thy son at the end of the conduit of the upper pool in the highway of the fuller's field. And say unto him, Take heed and be quiet, fear not, neither be faint hearted for the two tails of these smoking firebrands, for the fierce anger of Rezin with Syria and of the son of Remaliah, because Syria, Ephraim, and the son of Remaliah have taken evil counsel against thee, saying, let us go up against Judah and vex it, and let us make a breach therein for us, and set a king in the midst of it, even the son of Tabil. Thus saith the Lord God, it shall not stand, neither shall it come to pass. For the head of Syria is Damascus, and the head of Damascus is resin, and within three score and five years shall Ephraim be broken, that it, shall, that it be not a people. Who broke Ephraim? Where had Ephraim zerbrochen? Assyria. The king of Assyria, the right? The king of Assyria. And the Assyrian, mm -hmm. king of Assyria is the king of the north. The right? king of Assyria is the king of the north. In this sense, it's representing Christ. It's bringing this righteous judgment upon him, right? In this sense, it's representing Christ. It's bringing this righteous judgment upon him, right? And the head of Ephraim is Samaria, and the head of Samaria is Remaliah's son. If ye will not believe, surely ye shall not be established. So if you don't believe this, you don't believe all the other prophets, right? Because all the prophets are speaking about this northern power rising himself up and coming against Jerusalem. Says if you will not believe, you shall not be established, right? Go to Isaiah 7 and verse... Ah, okay, it's still in Isaiah 7, in verse 14. And in relation to this, he says, Therefore the Lord himself shall give you a sign. Behold, a virgin shall conceive and bear a son, and shall call his name Emmanuel. So what's linked to Assyria punishing Ephraim? Also was ist damit verknüpft, dass Assyrien Ephraim bestraft? The birth of Christ, right? Die Geburt von Christus. Just symbolically, right? Das ist okay. And that's what we saw in the next chapter, in chapter 8. He has this son, right? We're not going to go through there, right? Also das Mahar Hal Shashbaz, right? Das konnten wir auch in Jesaja 8 sehen. Ähm, da wird ihm dieser Sohn geboren. Der heißt eben Mahar Shalashbaz. It was to be written in the role, right? Das sollte in eine Rolle geschrieben okay. werden. This was this this sign, this type of Christ, das right? Das war dieses Zeichen, Typus für Christus. Okay. Then go to 2 Chronicles 20 and verse 20. Gehen wir zu 2. Chronik 20 und Vers 20. Last couple of verses. Die letzten paar Verse. And they rose early in the morning and went forth into the wilderness of Tekoa. And as they went forth, Jehoshaphat stood and said, Hear me, O Judah, and ye inhabitants of Jerusalem. Who's got to hear? Wer muss hören? Judah and Jerusalem, Judah right? Judah and Jerusalem. Believe in the Lord your God, so shall ye be established. Believe his prophets, so shall ye prosper. And if ye don't believe them, what shall ye not be? Ye won't be established. So if you say the days are prolonged and every vision faileth, you're, you're a foolish virgin, right? Because all the prophets have been speaking down to this time that we are living, right? Alle Propheten, sie haben über diese Zeit gesprochen bis hin zu dieser Zeit, in der wir leben. About this Gog and how he's about to be punished, right? Über diesen Gog und wie er bestraft werden wird. And it's marking our deliverance, right? Und das markiert unsere Befreiung. And if you will not believe. You will not be established. Wenn ihr nicht glaubt, werdet ihr nicht etabliert werden. Okay, in Luke 24, verse 25. Lukas 24, Vers 25. It says, and he said to them, O fools and slow of heart to believe all that the prophets have spoken. Who spoke? Wer hat gesprochen? The prophets. Die Propheten. Which you're to believe in, right? In, an die sollst du glauben. It says, ought not Christ to have suffered these things and to enter into his what? Was einzutreten? Glory, right? Seine Herrlichkeit. And the glory is this temple, right? That 
The glory enters the temple when Gog is punished. Die Herrlichkeit, die kommt in diesen Tempel hinein, wenn Gog bestraft wird. And in Genesis 3:15, how did that enmity take place? Und in 1. Mose 3, Vers 15, wie hat diese Feindschaft stattgefunden? Come on, brothers and sisters, you're so forgetful. Go to Genesis 3:15. Gehen wir zu 1. Mose 3, Vers 15. You got to put these points in your heart that you might not sin against them. Sorry? It's in Genesis 3.15. Go to Genesis Okay, that might be right, but just go to Genesis 3. The answer is right here. Also gehen wir zu 1. Mose 3, Vers 15. Hier ist die Antwort. It says... And I will put enmity between thee and the woman, and between thy seed and her seed. It shall bruise thy head, and thou shalt bruise his heel. Unto the woman, he said, I will greatly multiply thy sorrow and conception. In sorrow shall thou bring forth children. So what did we just read? Why, why, um, why did Christ rebuke them on the road to Emmaus? Und was haben wir gerade gelesen? Warum hat Christus sie getadelt auf der Emmaus-Straße? Unbelief. Yeah, there was unbelief. But what was he talking about? He says, Ought not Christ to have suffered these things and to enter into his glory? Vers 26. The glory is Genesis 3:15. Die Herrlichkeit ist 1. Mose 3, Vers 15. And my question is, what did he have to do in order for Genesis 3:15 to be fulfilled? Die Frage ist, was musste er tun, damit 1. Mose 3, Vers 15 sich erfüllen konnte? Suffer. Right, he had to suffer, and it's written in Vers 16. Er musste leiden, und das ist hier in Vers 16 geschrieben. He had to come out of the belly, right? Er musste aus dem Bauch kommen. And he's rebuking them, saying. Don't you understand this, right? Did not did you understand that Christ had to suffer first in order to have the glory, right? Habt ihr das nicht verstanden, dass Christus zuerst leiden muss, damit er diese Herrlichkeit haben konnte? Right? So you have to be under this serving under Egypt. You have to go through this Time of Tari, right? Du unter dieser Knechtschaft in Ägypten sein. Du musst durch diese Zeit des Verzugs oder der Verzögerung gehen. And it says, and beginning at Moses and all the prophets, he expounded unto them in all the scriptures the things concerning himself. Right? So last verse is Isaiah 19. Jetzt noch die letzten Verse, Isaiah 19. And this is Christ coming in all his glory. Und das right? ist, wenn Christus in all seiner Herrlichkeit kommt. Who is he now coming to punish? Wen kommt er jetzt zu bestrafen? The one that was afflicting him, right? Derjenige, der ihn ähm, ähm, ja, bedrängt hat. Right? Richtig. Mm -hmm. yes. Isaiah 19, Vers 1. Jesaja 19, Vers 1. The burden of Egypt, behold, the Lord rideth upon a swift cloud, and shall come into Egypt, and the idols of Egypt shall be moved at his presence, and the heart of Egypt shall fail in the midst of it. And I will set the Egyptians against the Egyptians. This is what we're looking for, right? Darauf, uh, darauf halten wir Ausschau. Okay. He's going to do his whole work upon Jerusalem. He's going to come up to Jerusalem. When he gets allowed to finish that work, then this is what we're going to see. There will be a, a civil war take place, right? Also, er wird heraufkommen nach Jerusalem und dort sein ganzes Werk vollenden und dann werden wir das sehen. Es wird ein Bürgerkrieg stattfinden. Right? The seas will rise up and they'll be fighting against each other. Die right? Meere werden aufgewiegelt äh, oder aufstehen und sie werden gegeneinander kämpfen. Right? And then the Lord will bring this eastern army, right? From the army from the east and Punish them. Und dann wird der Herr diese östliche Armee bringen, also diese Armee des Ostens, und wird sie bestrafen. Is anything too hard for the Lord? Ist irgendetwas zu schwer für den Herrn? Did they rest upon the word, or did they trust in their own foolish understanding? Haben right? sie sich auf dem Wort ähm, also ausgeruht, oder haben sie ihr eigenes äh, törichtes Verständnis äh, vertraut? And brothers and sisters. Understand it, that all these words were written about our evil hearts at the end of the world. Right? 
Dinge wurden über unser böses Herz am Ende der Welt geschrieben. We are the most rebellious, stubborn, stiff-necked people that he's speaking about, right? Wir sind die ähm, meist rebellischen und ähm, halsstarrigen und ja, steifen Herzens ähm, Leute, über die er gesprochen hat. Okay, speaking about us, we must choose. Do, do we believe these things or are we going to be continuing to trust in our unbelief? Und das right? spricht eben über uns und wir müssen die Entscheidung treffen, ob wir diese Dinge glauben oder ob wir in unserem Unglauben ähm, fortfahren. Okay, so, point is, the fulfillment of Daniel 11.40 is about to take place, right? Und der Punkt ist, die Erfüllung von Daniel 11.40 ist kurz davor okay. zu geschehen. And it's important that we understand this principle. Und das ist sehr wichtig, dass wir dieses Prinzip verstehen. Okay, let's close the prayer. Lass uns mit dem Gebet abschließen. Dear Father in heaven. Lieber Vater in heaven. Lord, we thank you that we could uh, rehearse this understanding of the time appointed. Herr, wir danken dir, dass wir dieses Verständnis der bestimmten Zeit wieder aufgreifen konnten. And also that, uh, you gave us now a key for Daniel 11. Dass du uns jetzt einen Schlüssel für Daniel 11 auch gegeben hast. And Father, we ask you that you would help us now to go to this chapter and apply this key. Und Vater, bitte hilf uns, dass wir jetzt zu diesem Kapitel gehen und diesen Schlüssel anwenden. And see how it uh, will unlock these different verses. Und dass wir sehen, wie es jetzt diese verschiedenen Verse auf äh, oder entschlüsseln wird. And may you um, help us Lord to believe your prophets. Und mögest du uns helfen, deinen Propheten zu glauben. Help us to believe that all what is written will surely come to pass. Hilf uns zu glauben, dass alles was geschrieben steht, sicherlich stattfinden wird. And that we would uh, make sure that we know these evidences for ourselves. Und dass wir sicherstellen, dass wir diese Beweise für uns selbst kennen. In order that we can then have a faith to stand upon. Damit wir dann einen Glauben haben können, auf dem wir stehen können. Help us therefore in this remaining time. Deswegen hilf uns in dieser übrigen Zeit. To put your word into our hearts that we would not sin against you. Dass wir dein Wort in unser Herz legen, dass wir nicht gegen dich sündigen würden. Help us Lord, because we cannot do it in our own strength. Hilf uns Herr, denn wir können das nicht aus eigener Kraft tun. And we ask you to please bless us today. Und wir bitten dich, dass du uns heute besegnest. And that you would please continue to show us great and mighty things that we know not. Und dass du bitte fortfährst, uns um, große und mächtige Dinge zu zeigen, die wir nicht kennen. And we ask and pray in Jesus' name. Und wir bitten und beten in Jesu Namen. Amen. Amen.